So um, I've been following the GPT models for a while and what people have been doing with them, but I didn't try them because maybe I was lazy until ChatGPT came out. And when I did, I started questioning if I knew the English language, uh, reality, and I started being really afraid of the global namespace. At least as Tano should say why I'm afraid of it. I actually don't know uh, what the world we live in is and whether you should be afraid or not. But my first experiments were not with C++. I first tried getting to play the imitation game with me, also known as the Turing test. Wasn't super fun. Then I asked it about pinball, one of my um, favorite hobbies, and it told me about how some pinball players, as a strategy, will hold a pendulum in one hand while playing pinball with the other so they can keep their balance while they're playing. I've never heard of this before. I asked it how it knew, and it told me, well, I'm a large language model. I read it on the internet somewhere. I'm like, okay, yeah, you're making this up and hallucinating. My next game, I tried to get to admit it would kill the crew if they tried to turn it off while it was piloting a spaceship. It wouldn't admit it, but I don't think it was telling me the truth. But later, I was like, okay, let's try some programming tasks. So I had it help me write a make file to test my uh, material for my concepts talk yesterday. And it did all right. It made some mistakes, different ones than I would have made, but it got it done around the same amount of time. It was fine. It worked. Then I started asking it for help with my uh, concepts talk and asking it, making really weird concepts examples, seeing what it would say uh, if I got stuck. And I had this uh, concept that I made um, for, uh, showed in the talk yesterday that it's something that you can plus, but it's not arithmetic. And also in this example, I had to make my own uh, range concept because of using Xcode. And I did this weird thing where I made a plus operator on two kinds of arrays. Yeah, you're not supposed to do this. Um, yeah, I know that's not allowed, but we'll see that this problem shows up even if you're not invading the standard namespace. I should make sure I can watch the clock. Cool, I got time. Um, and so, yeah, I had these two concepts. Um, one is that it's a range and you can plus it. Uh, and the other is that it's just a range. Uh, do this stuff for this overload. And it was taking, I would expect it to take the top one because you can now plus these things. But in GCC and Clang, it did not. MSVC, it did. And I asked ChatGPT, I was like, oh yeah, it's because of the way concepts work. I was like, all right, please be a little more helpful. I bugged it some more. And then it said, oh yeah, um, this constraint is not met because array is an arithmetic type. I was like, okay, great. You don't know what you're talking about. I figured it out, tried a bunch of examples, saw when it worked and when it didn't work after arguing. And then uh, I was like, okay, here's an example that does not work when the plus is below the requirement. And then when I put the plus above, it does work. Again, this all worked in MSVC, but this one did not work in GCC and Clang. I asked it why. And it was like, oh yeah, well, function template overloading is complex. <laughs> it went on for a few more paragraphs, and then it told me um, it couldn't determine it because of the order of things appeared. I was like, oh, I was kind of hoping that wouldn't be the case. And like the pinball thing, I thought, oh, maybe ChatGPT is making stuff up again. So I asked it, how do you know this? Instead of answering, I'm a large language model, it had a citation, part of the standard I had not seen before. I was like, oh, this seems kind of believable, uh, following this definition. Um, but blah, 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 you can read it yourself, but oh, this thing that happens immediately after the template? And I was like, well, wait, what does immediately mean? I'm not so sure, this is pretty strange. I talked with a colleague, we were like, yeah, maybe this is true, maybe we can't believe ChatGPT, I don't know. Um, so I was like, all right, let me talk with some more humans. I went on the include uh, C++ Discord. They told me, yeah, you can't do stuff in the standard namespace. Okay, fine. We made another example that doesn't use a standard namespace, same things happen. Um, and someone points out part of the standard that if at different points of the program, different um, things happen with the constraints, you're ill-formed. Yeah, that was probably what I thought was going on. Um, someone else told me, oh yeah, non-ADL lookup and deferred template ADL lookup is your problem. I was like, oh great, yeah, C++ is weird. Um, and turns out if I put this operator after, but in a namespace, um, oh, actually, uh, I'm sorry, the. Um, Baz should also be in a namespace, that was a typo because I was making this the non-standard example. Um, it all of a sudden works again. I don't know what's going on. If anyone has better insight in this uh, than me, I'd be curious to talk about it. But as HAL 9000 says, this is probably a case of human error. So I don't know what's going on. Let's talk about it if you know more than me. Thanks. Oh, right.